I had two things going in. Uh, you know, one was um, I just wanted to think of, well, you know, what could happen? You know, what, what, what is being thrown out? You know, certainly the Hudson River behind us here uh, has more varieties of fish living in it now than lived in it when Henry Hudson discovered it. And that's because a lot of superheated water from factories is going into it. So the tropical fish who used to go up and then die in the winter don't die anymore. They hang around within a mile of those factory pipes and they can live year round. So I started thinking about those things and I, I came up with this idea that, uh, you know, um, at the time, there was a lot of uh, fighting between the Anti-Vivisectionist League and, and various other pro-animal groups and scientific groups. And, and I had read something about, you know, there was a, like a little body snatcher underground in some of these places um, for pets that people thought were being put down uh, by veterinarians and in fact were give, being given up for medical experiments. I'm gonna need a lot more of those for this experiment. How about some cats? I got plenty of cats. And I felt like, oh, well, what if the, what, what do you do with those corpses after you've done those protocols on them and they're full of these chemicals or they've been irradiated or what else? You know, do you bury them? Do you cremate them? And, uh, you know, I just figured, well, what if somebody, you know, kind of who had the contract was like, you know, the mafia in, over in New Jersey and they weren't burying the toxic waste where they were supposed to, they were just dumping it wherever it was cheapest. Oh. And that would be a way for it to get down into the, into the sewers. 